right, well you just saw me remove my steering rack and now I'm gonna show you why. Excuse the bad presentation, but I have a new steering rack and it's not just a normal E36 one. This actually came off a Z3. So if you don't know, the Z3 racks actually are 2.7 turns to lock. What came stock on this car is 3.2. What that means is if my wheel is in the center, it's 1.6 turns to lock it. Now with this new rack, it'll only be 1.3 and a half or 1.3. This will make the steering on the car feel much more direct and there will be much smaller inputs to actually turn the wheel. This is just overall beneficial. This rack came off a 110,000 mile car. My rack's 200,000 miles. You can definitely see the difference. I'm still gonna clean it up and obviously when I put it back in, I'm gonna flush the system and everything. I also took the sway bar out as you saw. And if you remember my rear, this one's not much better. This is really it for disassembly aside from the transmission. And if you're in Connecticut or the Northeast, you know how cold it is right now. And there's no heat in here, so I'm freezing my ass off. That's why I usually have a winter jacket on. And it's only gonna get colder this week, so I really don't wanna dive into the transmission right now. I think I'm gonna save that for next week. It's supposed to be in the 50s, so that means it's gonna be warmer in here too. This video might end here, but I hope you enjoyed another disassembly video. You can expect the transmission to be next. Hey, so just wanted to let you know my camera died. I was in the process of taking my front control arms off and it died, it was too cold. So I'm not going back there this week, it's way too cold. And since next week is gonna be a lot warmer, like I said, I'm gonna start on the transmission. So I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless, regardless of how short it was. I promise you'll be seeing me take the front control arms off. I didn't even get the left one off because it was fighting me so much, so that'll be interesting. But yes, next week I plan on doing the transmission, or starting it at least. No matter what I get done next week, you'll be seeing it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be seeing you in the next one.